Heading on in the cow town, check up on my brain. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. We're taking a little break from the dangle today, and we're going to be checking on the brain health. So, I know some of you are probably curious, and I am actually very curious to see how my radiation treatment went. So, we're going to go visit a brain surgeon today, and he's going to tell us how everything went down. Um, I've had the treatment for how many months now, honey? Oh, gosh. Six? Six. Six? I had it in the fall, right? Yeah. Yeah. Six? I don't know. It seems sooner than that. But anyways, uh, we're going to we're gonna see what the progress is and see if I need any more things. Hopefully not. We got a lot going on here at the treehouse, as always. Lake Life Family Channel, link down below. We've been doing a, um, a video today on touring the new coop and all of that, but I've got to put these chicks back in their brooder right now because... Um, I can't just leave them out here with the foxes and the and the creatures, but I wanted. This is their first time actually being out of their brooder today because it's so hot. It's like 80 something degrees. I'm letting them run around, uh, decimate some of the insects inside of there, get their first taste of carnivorism, and just do what those little raptors do. Gotta love them. And Steph or uh, Emmy, <laughs> I got I got my girls confused. Uh, Emmy says duck duck. She said duck. Duck duck. Duck. Duck duck. That's right. And we also have good news today. My tar, my Himalayan tar is done being mounted, y'all. That was the hardest physical thing I've ever done. Huge accomplishment. Uh, I will always remember it. I want to go back badly to that place. It is amazing. If you ever get the chance to go to New Zealand, please do it. Let's scoop up the chicks, get them in the brooder, and then let's head on to the brain surgeon. Bye bye. Come on, Emmy, follow us. Little chicks secured. Heading on in the cow town. Check up on my brain. Speaking of doctors, y'all, I just got off the phone with a chicken doctor. We're gonna be taking our our uh, our sickly chicken to the vet soon because I I just called the feed store. My local feed store where I got my chickens, and um, they said it's kind of serious. Like you need to quarantine them, and you need to go to the vet. And definitely don't want to introduce the new chicks to the sickly ones, the sickly adults. So uh, it may be just like a coughing and sneezing right now, but it is basically. I mean, it sounds like gosh dang Corona. I mean, <laughs> they're like you need to come in now. Uh, that's gonna be another video on the Lake Life Family Channel. Tons of uh, chicken stuff. We're just learning. As we're learning, we're trying to film everything so that we can pass the knowledge on to you in case you're trying to do backyard chickens. So, anyway, we'll be at the chicken doctor 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Tune in. If you're wondering, we're uh, we're here at Texas Oncology, so we're not in Houston. We changed our location, and uh, we're gonna go in here. And see what's up. We got a got a COVID nineteen warning. Watch out! It's everywhere. And we're out of there. Got some good news for y'all. We had a one millimeter of growth, and according to our brain surgeon that is negligible I still have to go in every six months now if there's like another one millimeter growth in six months maybe cause for concern you know they I have to keep monitoring this basically for I don't know uh, another couple of years it's a very slow process but uh, j having no growth at all to very very minimal is very good I look at it as my brain got a little bigger you know I probably grew some knowledge you is what that was that one millimeter knowledge. I've been going hard look trying to learn the chicken game are you excited <laughs> I'm excited sorry I have to have the bread, but I'm you should be I can now continue my quest for adventure without worry and I had to that's really what this is about guys. <laughs> exactly I don't want to be out there Not in the deep the woods family. I don't want to be out there in the deep woods dropping dead and then you guys won't have me. So, uh, and that's right, because you don't have life insurance. <laughs> exactly. They also wanted to reschedule our appointment 
uh, in September, and I was like, no, 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 no. This is the start of hunting season. I will be deep in the mountains. Let's not forget, it's also Emmy's birthday. It's also Emmy's birthday. We're now on our way to pick up our tar. It was last May, and I went to New Zealand with my buddy John Thomas Earl Larkin. I hung out with some red-bearded woodsmen uh, deep, deep in the heart of New Zealand. And it was uh, uh, just one of the most mythical, the most mythical adventure I've ever been on. We should just look back for a second at some of this beautiful footage from New Zealand before we get our New Zealand Himalayan tar. Absolutely gorgeous, y'all. And just to clarify, uh, Himalayan tar aren't from New Zealand, but just about every species on those islands over there are from other countries. There's only just a few flightless birds, very few species that are native there. Everything else has been shipped in from uh, different cultures of people coming in bringing those animals. So it is a uh, an outdoorsman's paradise. I don't know if you're gonna let me put this remembrance up there. I think the tar might have to go in your office. That's kind of, I already knew the answer to that. So <laughs> I've got a nice spot for it in the cave. I want to see if it still smells very tar-like because my my Kuyu camo gear that I was wearing over there till this day, like if I put that on, if it's drizzling or something and I put it on while I'm fishing or whatever, walking through the woods, it smells like tar. It smells like goats. They have a very, very... <laughs> have you not noticed this? 
I don't smell your laundry for you, good reasons. <laughs> yeah, you could never get rid of a goat smell. And I put that thing on my back. It was an 80 pound situation, full skin. And then, wait till you guys see this beard, it's crazy. I carried that thing down the mountain for like, I don't know, it was miles and miles and it was like straight up and down. And we basically bled up there together. You know what's we even better? We bonded. Emmy's gonna wanna pet it. Emmy's, Emmy loves the one goat that I have down there, a little old Shinerbach goat. Oh, it's supposed to be going he, that way. Absolutely. Why did you go this way? Because I was talking. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the taxidermist. We'll pick this up and then we'll talk over its beard. Oh, hey. Look at these guys right here. Look who that's for. I, I, has Rob caught that many big fish that he needs mounted on? Anyway, here we are. And uh, here's the tar. Well, obviously all this is not uh, the cave. We're going there next. I just had to finish up a little project for the hens, adding a little secondary roost for them. Been having trouble getting up to that that top one, so we're gonna play a little, little hip scotch. What do you call that, hopscotch? Hopscotch for hens, I guess. And um, add a little bit more room in here for them, so. It's gonna hold sturdy, looks good. Let's go to the cave, take a look at our goat. and it's beautiful coat. So the, especially the things that aren't white tails are probably going to go on this wall. And I've also got some other fish I still need to get going up in here. But I'm thinking the tar, since it is um, it's a big accomplishment for me, I, I probably won't ever go on a Himalayan tar hunt in New Zealand like I did ever again, just because it was so insane and I don't think that I'll top that hunt. It's not always about the animals, it's about the experience. I don't think I'll top that experience and also get the size tar that I did. I went up to the Mondos and I got one and I brought it down successfully. So check it off the list. Look at this spicy meatball right here, y'all. Woo-hoo-hoo! He's got some really cool bumps and you can tell the exact age of these tar by counting the rings, just like a tree. And unlike a whitetail that sheds their antlers every year, um, they never shed their horns. So that almost looks like it could be my hair, just in a long form. But goodness gracious, it stinks. It stinks. And I just remember climbing up these mountains in these well, these you know avalanche chutes and through the vines and, and trees and jungles and stuff over there. And then when you get to a spot that just had these boulders you would look up and you would see these things looking down at you and they were still so far up there and I was like, oh my gosh, we've come all this way and they're still up there. Let's all just take a moment and just pray that I hit a stud with this screw. Because if this thing falls off the wall in the middle of the night, I'm gonna have to go on another tar hunt. Kidding, always have the YouTube videos to watch. That's one thing great about what I do. I think we got it. Yeah, there we go. Like once this thing got back to the States, it took like three months just for the hide to be processed. Let's make sure we line that up. Connect it. You can't see. Is that, it? Is that it there? That's it right there, okay. There she is. Oh my. Yeah, you better not fall because you're going to be falling on my pee, pee bass too. Goodness, look at the character in the horns. That guy's been through some battles. Look at, oh, just the, the deep beauty. The deep beauty. The stories he could tell. Y'all, that thing is just good. And they did a good job on the mount too, I'll say. This is Alpine taxidermy. You come in the fish cave and you're like, Oh man, look at that. Oh, daggum, LFG, America, wooden, American flag. Oh, you got a custom crappie guitar going on over here. Handmade wooden sign, awesome fishing freaks, cowboy hat. Oh man, look at that. Look at this Shinerbach ram. And then, what? Wow, oh, oh, hang on a second. And then you got Big Betty over here, PB. We got some, and then, oh, wow, bam, hits you. Hits you right here. You're like, oh, look at that. Oh, man. That is just. 
That just makes me want to go back. Had to do it, just texting my buddy that I went with, JT, a picture of this, and it brought back memories for him too. We are going, 2021, me, JT, Todd, back to New Zealand, and we're gonna give it a go again, y'all. I am so excited, and I mean, come on. I get to look at this guy every day when I'm home. Thank you for tuning in today. We're gonna get back to fishing, but I just wanted to give y'all a, uh, a brain update today. Uh, and this was a nice surprise that my tar was ready. So things are looking up. Uh, my health is looking good and I'm ready to uh, spend some overnights on some lakes and uh, just go deep because fishing season is upon us. One more thing, if y'all forgot to sign up to win my custom bow, it is being built right now. Uh, and there's still time to sign up and win that. So I'll leave a link down below where you can go and sign up for it. Sorry, I just had to mention that because I'm just, you know, hunting, fishing. Eh, love it every day, I had to say it. All right, love you guys. God bless you. And I'll see you on the next one.